Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mohd Faiz Daniel Bermuda Alam With the metric number 1816365 Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Ali Bayhak bin Mahathir Metric number 1810219 Assalamualaikum My name is Siti Nuliana Binti Saharudin Metric number 1910216 Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Taufik bin Shamsir, metric number 2019723. The Arabic word for purification and expansion is zakat. Take from their wealth so that you may purify and sanctify them, declares in the Quran. Zakat cleanses a donor's riches of a portion designated for the poor while also purifying his soul of self-centeredness and greed. Even though paying zakat appears to reduce your bank account's balance, in a larger sense, it allows wealth to circulate, which leads to its multiplication and includes more and more people in its advantages. All Muslims, men and women who are sahib in Isab or own a certain amount of wealth are required to give zakat on a yearly basis using their capital or savings, which can include things like farm products, livestock, business activities, paper money and precious metals like gold and silver. Similar to the obligation of salat, it is a duty from Allah. Zakat is one of the five pillars of Islam and is commanded by Allah in the Holy Quran. The Quranic verse that can relate with zakat is Surah al tawbah verse number 60. Bank Mu'abad Malaysia Berhad is the second full-fledged Islamic bank in Malaysia after Bank Islam. The bank started its operation on 1st October 1999. The bank is strongly supervised by Sharia expert. They are involved in both issues related to Sharia products and other services such as provide consultation. The bank has up to 63 branches in Malaysia. A kiosk and an offshore Labuan branch that runs a wide range of Islamic banking products and services. It includes foreign currency deposits, foreign exchange trading, investment account, working capital financing, project and contract financing, trade financing, venture capital and Islamic capital market services to Malaysian and foreigners as well. Bank Muamala is the first Islamic bank to be recognized as a member of Global Alliance for Banking Values. <coughs> for Bahrain Bank, it is listed on the Bahrain Burst and has an Islamic retail bank license from the Central Bank of the Bahrain. The bank adopts a customer-centered philosophy and is always evolving to meet the requirements and aspirations of its clients. Innovation has always been at the core of their operations and financial offerings. Bahrain Bank believes that they are the industry mover and shaker. They have successfully built a strong base of excellence from the implementation of the back to basis Ishraq strategy in terms of digitalization, streamlining operations, restructuring their financial role and engaging with our employees and local partners to grow deeper and more meaningful roots. They are promoting the principles of sustainability in all markets and still competing by, dif by being different. For principle, each Islamic bank has its zakat computation and payment method according to the rulings made by their respective Sharia Supervisory Board or Sharia Committee. For Bank Muhammad, they calculated its zakat provision based on the capital growth model method. It is also known as Urfia. This method is also known as the adjusted growth capital which consider the equity of ownership in a particular company and other financial sources. The bank pays zakat on its business to the state zakat authorities based on the growth model method approved by the Sharia Committee. The bank does not pay zakat on behalf of the shareholder or depositor unless open request by depositor. The zakat is one of the five pillars in Islam which aim to receive the wealth between rich and poor and is basically to purify their wealth for those who pay for zakat. And zakat was determined using the net invested asset and in accordance with the rules and guidelines by the Islamic Sharia also. And in its own Bahri Bank, uh, the primary goal of cut of asset, donations, and Zakat committee is to fulfill the good social obligation for its community um, by distributing Zakat and charitable.
Bitcoin and S&P 2021 are your free we release the financial account is standard 39 is related to financial reporting of Zakat and it's aim to provide the guidelines and financial reporting of Zakat that may be attributed to various Islamic financial institutions uh, shareholders and effective in 1 January 2023 financial uh, account standard 9 will take a place for Zakat uh, reporting standard the following duties are performed by Zakat institutions promoting, collecting and managing the distribution of Zakat, organizing aid for the needy and poor and including additional asnaf in accordance with the Sharia rules in order to ensure that the collection and distribution of Zakat may be done as efficiently as possible. Zakat administration is absolutely essential. In various states and federal territories, the Zakat administration has undergone various stages of development and reorganization with the goal of strengthening the institution of Zakat and ensuring effective service delivery throughout the community as a whole. Any system, no matter how effective, is ineffective if it cannot meet the requirements of the community, especially the poor and the needy. The ability of Zakat organizations to administer assistance to the proper recipients in accordance with the specific aid, in kind or financial assistance is a major factor in Zakat collecting and distribution effectiveness. The Imam's pre-selection of potential beneficiaries who is in charge of judging the character of potential recipients is the crucial phase. This is something that needs to be done in collaboration with the local headman but is occasionally forgotten throughout the screening process. There have been instances where the institution have not treated all zakat receivers equally when disposing zakat. Due to these inefficiencies, society as a whole comes to believe that the zakat distribution procedure is unfair. Lastly, there are no standard assessment being made in calculating the provision of zakat business. Most of the banks in Malaysia merely follow the option guidelines prepared by the respective zakat authorities. This is because there is no proper zakat law and the efforts towards establishing zakat law are currently still in progress. Next, for the basis of preparation, Bank Mamalat regulatory framework is based on BNM, IOFI, Jauha and MASB. The bank uses this framework as a guideline in calculating distributing and reporting zakat. Meanwhile, for Bahrain Bank, the zakat was issued by IOFI. Bahrain is required to follow the guidelines set by IOFI regarding the recognition, presentation and disclosure of zakat. Furthermore, Bank Mahmalat recognized zakat as an expense in the statement of profit or loss and Bahrain Bank recognized it as other liability as well as written earnings. Islamic banks in Malaysia measure their zakat asset and liability on the same measurement basis as used in the preparing bank financial statement. Since Bank Mahmalat uses growth method, the calculation of zakat is based on honest equity and long-term liabilities. Bahrain's measurement of zakat has been prepared on a historical basis on its consolidated financial statement except for investment in real estate and equity type instrument. Both of the zakats are presented in their respective currency. Lastly, for the disclosure, zakat paid for the year for Bank Mamalat is presented on the statement of cash flows and the provision of zakat is presented as other liabilities on the statement of financial position. And for Bahrain Bank, the zakat will appear in the statement of changes in, in honest equity and the calculation details will be in the consolidated statement of sources on and users of zakat and charity fund. This is how both banks present the zakat provision in their own financial statement. For Bank Muhammad, their zakat provision in 2017 was 4.4 million ringgit and continued increase to 6 million in 2018. The next year, 2019, the zakat provision decreased to 3.77 million. From 2020 to 2021, the zakat provision kept on increasing. In Afil Bank Muhammad, now we go to Bank Bahrain. Surprisingly, the zakat provision did not exist in 2017. They started to calculate zakat provision in 2018 and the amount increased by 93.43%. Zakat provision in 2019 decreased by 32.45%. The value started to increase in 2020 and decreased back to in 2021. We recommend that Zakat and Bank Wak Malat and Bahrain Bank uh, 
uh, should improve their services, especially in terms of the number of zakat administrators appointed by the bank, technically, uh, technicality, and the method used by the bank in order to ensure that bank operate uh, efficiently. And also, we suggested that the standard assessment being made in the calculating the provision of zakat business should be emulated from the procedures for the zakat assessment and not just following the optional guidelines prepared by the respective zakat authorities. As a conclusion, uh, each Islamic bank has their own zakat foundation and payment method according to the ruling made by the respective Sharia supervisors board and Sharia committees. By considering all these issues arise, it will be more easier if every bank follows the standard provided to avoid confusion. That's all for us. Thank you.